There has been a ton of questions around whether or not people who originally purchased Final Cut Pro are going to receive all of the updates that the Apple Creator Studio subscribers are going to receive, and I think I have the answer. So the first bit of evidence I have, you'll see that it mentions one-time purchase Mac users and Apple Creator Studio subscribers can experience blazing fast performance with Apple Silicon for the most demanding workflows and get into the creative flow faster than ever with new on-device intelligent features that make video creation effortlessly easy. So this says to me that one-time purchasers are going to receive the on-device intelligent features. But I do have a bit more evidence which shows exactly what people who purchase Final Cut Pro are going to receive in terms of the future. And the question we're looking at is what is the difference between the subscription version and the one-time purchase of Final Cut Pro? A one-time purchase will still be available, but access to some of the premium content is available only to Apple Creator Studio subscribers. So that sentence makes it sound like people who purchase Final Cut Pro are not going to get the future updates, right? They're not going to get the content. But I think the word content here is extremely important. Content typically refers to stuff like templates, titles, transitions, effects. Content is not the word that you would use if you are putting, say, a feature behind the paywall. So if you ask me, I believe that people who originally purchased Final Cut Pro are going to continue to receive the amazing new features coming down the road, but they might not get access to say some templates and titles, which will be included as a part of the subscription. And I'm not really worried about that because you can build your own templates using Apple Motion, or you can just purchase from thousands and thousands of different packs online. Do you come to the same conclusion as I do, or do you think that it's something different? Let me know down in the comments and maybe follow if you want to see more Final Cut Pro content.